Okay, here we go. Now, let's see, first we get rid of this window. Now, if you pop in an SD card from your Zoom, for instance, it'll pop up on your desktop just like these drives do. Just like another hard drive as far as the computer is concerned. So here's my internal drive. Here's the external. This is another external that's my time machine backup. And here, let's say we're pulling this file, audio file, and you can see it's got a little musical note. It shows you that it's the type of file it is, even, even if you don't read the MP3 at the end. And so, I got my Amadeus. Down in the menu bar, we can open that up. You can see now Amadeus Pro is open. And under File, we want to open something. So this is deferring to the last, defaults to, I should say, the last folder I was in. We don't want that. We want the desktop because over here is the desktop, all this stuff. There we go. Now, there's that file, this file right here. It shows you all the information about it. Down here is the open button. And then, voila, there's your waveform. A little exaggerated. I usually have it like this. And hit the space bar or all things keyboard can be found up here in the menus. I don't know where it play is anymore. <laughs> it's somewhere here. I just use the space bar to start playing. I ain't California crew. I'm just your fool. This is Isaac Valdez coming to you at California Cool Thrift Store. So there's that. Now, of course, editing is pretty obvious. You can just select sections like that. But the fun stuff is the effects. Here's Echo. These are built in, these, you know, automatically, as you'll prob probably have seen already. And there's Preview. Whoop. I just hit Command Z for Undo. Let's see if that's in the menu. See, everything you can do, most things that you can do off the menu, you can do with keyboard commands. And they always show you the keyboard command along with the menu selection, if it's possible. So duplicate track, select all, command A. I'm a real keyboard shortcut user, so. View. So anyway, back to effects. Here's Amplify, very handy for uh, raising or lowering the volume. Use that all the time. Change pitch and speed once in a while. Stereo utilities, never had found a use for that. Uh, normalize which is supposed to normalize volume. See, maximal, whatever, normalize to level. I've never been able to, I've tried, never gotten that to work right. To fade in and fade out is very helpful because you can just select a section like here and go fade out, what you'll notice is uses the keyboard symbol, the carrot, right facing carrot, which kind of looks like what a fade out would look like on the signal path. It's very clever. It's already kind of fade, so it's hard to notice it there as much. Fade in, just the opposite, left facing carrot, command, left facing carrot. And we 
so equalizers these are okay I don't use them because I believe these audio units from Apple will automatically load and be available in these like sub menus so there's the what's this it shows you all of them at once in a different view I'm not sure why you would need that audio units Apple you got delay which is pretty cool let's see well so you can just sample this audio units apple delay just wanted to be able to hear it Cool Thrift Store, and you're listening to Excellent Radio, KYXZ LP, 107.9 FM in Grover Beach, California, Low Power Community Radio. So you can see how you can do the cool thrift store, and you're listening to Excellent Radio KYXLP 107.9 FM. Pretty much like your Effectron, you know, right there in a little play around with it till you get it to sound, get the sound you want. And I know we know how to do that. <laughs> so Dynamics Processor, I use this all the time. It was already used on this. Just like levels helps bring up volume that's a little too low and put a cap on volume that might tend to go a little high compression as they call it very handy i use it on pretty much not pretty much yeah pretty much every voiceover or voice processing i do high shelf filter matrix reverb also a very nice reverb unit on your cool thrift store, and you're listening to Excellent Radio, KYXZ LP, 107.9 FM in Grover Beach, California, Low Power Community Radio. Oh, sample. On your cool thrift store, and you're listening to Excellent Radio, KYXZ LP, 107.9 FM in Grover You see, that's... Reverb, obviously, more subtle than delay. And then let's see what else we have here. Let's... Ah, parametric EQ, which I don't us usually use. Uh, matrix reverb is very handy. And where's the graphics EQ? There it is, AU graphic EQ. All this top stuff. This is very handy. Um, start off usually with flattening. The EQ. This live music and live recordings a lot of times have a lot of mud in them, which are right around this 250 range. On your cool thrift store, and you're listening to Excellent Radio KYXZ LP 107. So it's kind of like this. And go like this. Grover Beach, California, Low Power Community Radio. And you can grab these things as a group. It's a whole section. So like for, oops, let's flatten that back out. Or the mud zone, as they call it. A lot of times I'll just take uh, 100 to 250. Yeah, it didn't grab them all. Not sure why. But anyway, anything from 100 to 250, just take all those down a bit. And of course, high-end splatter is all up here. See, those are still linked, so you gotta there, click on it until it's not linked. All right, that's that's that one. You can actually add tracks in this, convert to mono, take a mono track, convert it to stereo, all that kind of stuff. Um, add new mono track. So, add stereo track, and then you've got, that's why this was wider before. And you can bring in stuff here. 
So if you want to do simple, like uh, I had to bleep some words so I can add a simple bleep sound on this track, bring down the volume on this one where the bleep occurs. Isaac Valdez. Bleep. See right there where the yellow would be. This is Isaac Valdez. Bleep. coming. And then when you save it, you just do a save as. Pick your format, usually MP3 in our case. And then it'll save it as a basic stereo track. It'll blend these two together. And we hit don't save. And that's a pretty quick overview of most of the basics I use with uh, Amadeus Pro. There you have it. More fun later.